Drugs have been used for thousands of years, from religion to medicine or just for recreation. The first use of drugs is ancient and was probably cannabis, started in 8100 BC. This is the oldest known archaeological evidence. However, there have been studies to show that even before we had left Africa, people had already discovered drugs. But they were probably not used that much as drugs distort your reality, which is not a very good thing being a hunter gatherer with rhinos, hippos, and lions to look out for. One of the key steps in the cultivation of drugs was the Sumerians. By the end of the third millennium, they had discovered the ability to cultivate poppies and separate the opium from them to use as a drug. They called the opium Jill, meaning joy, and the poppy Hull Jill, the joy plants. But what exactly is a drug? What does it do? Why do people take them? To classify a drug, we must first define what a drug will do. Hopefully, the only drug you will ever have to deal with in your life is medication. But, there are other types of drugs that people will use to feel a sense of euphoria. This can lead to addiction as they want to keep returning to that feeling of happiness. There are four main types of drug. The first is depressants. These work by increasing the activity of a chemical called GABA, which inhibits brain activity, causing the neurons in your brain to slow down. This causes a sense of drowsiness or relaxation. There are useful depressants that help against anxiety and sleep disorders. However, there are also harmful ones like alcohol that can damage your liver and result in memory loss. The next is stimulants. These work in the opposite way. Instead of slowing down the brain, they instead decrease the response times of neurons. This can make you feel a burst of energy. A legal example of this is caffeine, whereas an illegal example of this could be speed. Another is opioids. These are used to block or relieve pain, but they're highly addictive, so doctors who prescribe them must be very careful to avoid prescription abuse. Some legal examples are Vicodin or Oxycontin. An illegal example is heroin. And finally, hallucinogens. These drugs act on the central nervous system and brain to alter your perceptions and mood. For example, you may see complex visual patterns. An example of a hallucinogen is LSD, but there are no real legal example because most believe it can't be used for medical reasons but could instead be abused or misused. Normally in a healthy brain you'll be rewarded for things like exercise, eating or bonding with friends. But when you're in danger your brain will want to run away pushing the fear alarm. Your brain will also weigh the cost of decision. It does all these things so that you will repeat actions that keep you alive and healthy while keeping you out of any danger. When you use drugs, it hijacks your brain, causing you to want more and more of the substance. If you use it regularly, your body adapts to needing the drug just to function, leading to shaken and irritability without it. It will also cause your body to adapt to require more of it just to experience its effects. This is called tolerance. And once this has occurred, you will start to feel withdrawal symptoms. This means you get the opposite effect of when you are using the drug. Instead of feeling a sense of euphoria, you get an intense amount of stress and depression. This can cause people to continue to take drugs for a very long time. If you try to stop using drugs immediately, you will find it practically impossible. So the only way you can get off drugs is to slowly stop using them until you do not use them at all, which is hard to do, but possible.